Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial video with me, TKF, or Luke. And now today we're just going to be looking at uh, Desmume. Um, or Desmume, or Desmummy, whatever. So, uh, yeah, this is basically what the emulator will look like once you have it. And uh, as you can see, there's a few things up here. So first thing we're going to look at is settings for Pokemon games, namely um, like Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Pokemon Black and White. So first thing you want to do when you get Desmume is go to Configure and uh, go to Emulation Settings. Now this screen will pop up, and the only thing you want to have ticked is use uh, External Firmware Image, and that's basically it for that. And uh, next thing, uh, Save Type, just click Auto Detect, and that'll be fine. Control configuration, obviously you put in your own controls. This is just the way I like to use it, but um, just put in your own controls there. And uh, sorry, one thing I do want to quickly say is click on the arrow at the bottom left of the video and click 7, uh, 720p or whatever it is, and uh, you'll be able to see this tutorial much more clearly. So go ahead and do that. So next thing I'm going to look at is sound settings. Now, because I do Wi-Fi battles, I have the volume turned all the way down. But you want to have direct sound interface. Uh, it should just do that automatically, but 5880. And uh, what the effect does that say? Interpolation. <laughs> just put it as linear, typical sound. Sounds good. You can change this to fastest with no sound. Or um, slowest or sounds best. But I just go for sounds good because that's good enough for me. And dual SPU sync. So that's all that done. Next thing. F uh, firmware settings. Just leave it. Just don't ever touch that. It's fine. Um, next thing we'll do is uh, we've done emulation settings. Microphone settings again. Use an internal noise sample. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, microphone settings. We just looked at that. Um, path settings. Again, don't touch this because you'll need this. Um, don't need to touch that. Um, frame skip. Now this will make the. It will make it run a little bit faster. But you don't ever want to go more than three. If you go more than three, it starts crashing. And I always have it is also minimize frame skipping, never skip. But because I'm doing fifth gen battles at the moment, I leave it on two, but never more than three. So language obviously depends on where you come from. You can have it for, uh, English, French, Chinese, Italian, or Japanese. Background pause again. You can just click that on or off. And that basically means if you click off the screen like this, you'll see it's not highlighted anymore. It means that it will pause the emulation. I don't have that ticked. Enable state rewinding. Again, don't touch that. You can, but just I didn't touch it. Display method, just leave it as a direct draw HW. So that's all of the settings you guys are going to need to know. That's all of that. I don't think there's anything else you guys need to know. Um, you put in your cheats here. Just go cheats and list and that will do it. So let's talk about actually using it to open up a game or whatever. So, oh, there's another thing actually. Um, if you get a file, you see you can record WAV or record AVI. Now I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you want to go file and go open ROM, and just going to go and choose wherever your ROM is. Now I have Heart Gold right here in front of me, so I'm just going to open up my Heart Gold ROM, and it should be a .nds file. Okay, so we're just going to open up that. Now Desmume will open up other types of files, but really you should always be using .nds because that's what uh, a ROM would be. So it takes a few seconds to load up, and as soon as you see the screen, you're going to click File, go Import Backup Memory. Now this means you can load your SAV. Okay, now your .sav file is the save. So obviously I'm playing Pokemon Heart Gold, so that's not going to be my SAV file, so I need to go find it. So usually it will be in your Desmume folder, but I'm just going to go, uh... Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Um, it be in Desmume. I think it's here. No, it's not here. Oh, bollocks, where did I save it to? Oh, in Heart Gold. So you can just like keep dragging, and you can choose your thing down here, like for which files to search for. Because it's saved into Desmume, it's not actually the correct file type. You should be looking for a .sav. That's why Pokemon Platinum come up first. But <coughs> excuse me, you just literally want to find yourself file and load that up. Now I'm just going to let it load up without one because I can't find it right now. But when you do that, nothing will change. It will come up here. You just click on the bottom screen is touch screen. And as you see, here's your SAV file. Mine's already loaded for some strange reason. But anyway, you just click on your file. And uh, here you go. Here's your game. So you can play it with the uh, with the configuration that you've already put in. Now, to load Wi-Fi battles up, you need to have an R4 card with your memory card plugged into your computer and load your save file. Now, all I do is go down here, um, obviously go into your bag, and then just go to your versus recorder. And because it's the same SAV file, the battle should, wait, let me just speed this up. The battle should just be saved into your versus recorder. 
and uh, there's the last battle I had which has already been uploaded onto YouTube basically you get Camtasia, I'll just show you how to do this quickly, I open up my computer I go into removable disk J, Camtasia Windows 7, open up the screen recorder, I can't do it because I'm screen recording and then I just drag it and drop it over the top screen here and then I click play, the battle will play and uh, once I'm done I click stop and upload it so that's something, so let's talk about what if you don't have a screen recorder, what if you want to record from Desmume, well this is how you're going to do it so, so we're all ready to go, what we're going to do is go file and we're going to go record AVI Okay, now you choose where you want to save it, so I want to save it to the desktop and I'm just going to name it Test Recording in AVI Format, okay? Now that will save it to the, uh, let's save it to the desktop, so that will save just here somewhere, okay? So, full frames uncompressed, that's what you want, okay. AVI started recording, so we're going to play the battle back, and uh, it'll run a bit slower because we're recording, so just give it a sec to send out both Pokemon I'll U-turn out with Vegeta and then we'll see what it looks like so uh, it's going to U-turn right there and again it's going to be playing slower because we are recording but anyway so you don't have to worry about the mouse it won't capture the mouse so right here we're just gonna go up here and go stop AVI and AVI is ended and you see it speeds up again so now we can go to this AVI file right here double click on it it'll open it up and you can see it's recorded like that and uh, there's a battle but as you can see it's captured the bottom screen but you can change that in uh, there's Mume. if you look the quality is really really good so let's say we, we've got that now and what we want to do is go into our program so let's say you have Windows Movie Maker because a lot of people are having trouble with this so I'll just quickly run through this for you guys so open up Windows Movie Maker right here we'll grab that AVI file and we'll drag it and drop it into there and uh, here we've got our battle which is the top and bottom screen so I'm sorry guys you really can't do anything about this I mean you could go into um, project and click widescreen 169 but it doesn't really change anything um, I'm not really too familiar with editing stuff on this so I'm really sorry I couldn't help you out but once you once it's in here you literally just if you don't want to add any intros or anything you just go file save movie recommend if this project give it a name and it'll save it in AVI format to your desktop so let's talk about if you want to get rid of these black borders well you're gonna need an editing, uh, editing program so I use uh, Camtasia so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Camtasia Studio which is just here I'm just gonna grab a bit of my drink ah uh, banana milkshake so uh, yeah Camtasia takes a little while to open this is uh, oh this I'm using Camtasia version 7 right there takes a while I think I should probably update if there is a newer version I'm not really too sure but um, this should load up any second now oh, we can close that we don't need that right now come on Camtasia alright so as soon as you see the screen just gonna import media but I'm not because it's right here so I'm gonna drag it and drop it into here drag it and drop it from there into there now this is a just leave this click OK now this is something I never knew which is extremely helpful go to zoom and pan or zoom and pan and then what you're going to do is just bugger off, right click and go snap to edges no sorry what you want to do go into here go uh, editing dimensions and where it says 256 scroll down to YouTube and HD okay now this will happen now don't worry this is normal now what you're going to do is right click snap video to edges and now look it stretched it but the only problem is we got the bottom screen on here and we don't want the bottom screen so what we're going to do is uh, bollocks. <laughs> um, what do we do in this situation? Let's get rid of that. Go back to our clip bin. Drag and drop that back in. Go to zoom and pan. And uh, as you see right here, you should be able to crop it in some way, shape, or form. I've never done this um, because I don't record the bottom screen. So I really would not know, guys. I'm sorry. Um, unless you can okay so we've got it on maintain aspect ratio for some reason um, you should be able to change that if you find a setting called maintain aspect ratio just get rid of it but as you can see the, the video is moving so hold on I'll oh shit shit give me one second okay fair not Luke's figured it out so like I said drag and drop into here go to zoom and pan basically once you get to the screen you just want to make it smaller drag it onto the video just over the edge like that 
and just make this smaller so it fits over the top screen and uh, you'll be able to move it I need to go a bit bigger and uh, yeah as you can see it's like that go snap to video edges and it'll make it like this and then just drag that up to just below the line and there you go now you have one screen okay and if you look at the quality it's still pretty good okay so that's how you get it onto one screen so that's all done so what we do now that we've got this all snapped into one screen like this we can go produce and share produce and share I did cover this in another video so I'm just gonna go into my um, my Wi-Fi battles thing go next name it go finish and that will save it to your desktop and that is how you would do it and then from there you just upload it straight to YouTube alright guys so I hope you found this video tutorial helpful on how to use Desmume and uh, how to export videos and such because I know some of you are having some problems I don't need that anymore so uh, thanks for watching guys please comment like and subscribe I'm just uploading the next part of the walkthrough now so be looking forward to that Toosh.